All right, welcome everybody to the start of my Minecraft Let's Play. Now, you may have a few questions as to who is this guy? How did I get to his channel? Where is he at? Why is he here? Why are there those types of trees? Oop, why did I see glowstone over there? Why am I standing on brown clay? Where is this guy at? And why is there a wheat farm and cows? Oh my gosh, what is this big building over here? There's a beacon already. He's done so much off camera. Well, guys, I'll tell you. My name is Kyle, or you can call me Grizzly Bear, as my YouTube name indicates, which also subsequently is my Xbox Live gamer tag. Um, or you can just call me Kyle, because that is my in real life name. And that's what I go by on my Twitch account, which I'm going to start streaming on, hopefully very soon, uh, thanks to the new uh, Minecraft integration. Um, but where am I at? I am on the Cro-Magnon server. It is a, um, a small server with some small YouTubers and some people that don't do YouTube, from what I understand. I actually uh, was just accepted to join this server, and I figured, you know... I could do a single player let's play, but I figured that interacting with other YouTubers and just having a more interactive public experience overall would be a lot better and would help my channel grow a lot faster. So that's what I decided to do, and so I popped on here. I did a couple tests with my recording software, and uh, I think we're going to be good to go. So what do we have around here? Over here, we have... A horse shop made by uh, Matt which is I believe the owner of the server I was believe I was talking to him on Skype just a few minutes ago we have a beacon over here with speed and regeneration and in here we have another hub here a zombie runner I'm not where he would be at where he at jambe but another port will go in there in a second and back here looks about the same we just got oh we got another beacon over here Interesting, but okay, let's go in here and check out this uh, the nether area and then we can set out on our journey and get some starting supplies to where we can begin. Let's see. Okay. First open hub area. Feel free to use if. Your portal is in this direction. Be respectful to others, so make a tunnel in the easiest way to your house. Thank you. Use a uh, map man. That is the guy I was talking to on Skype. I believe he's the owner of the server. And that sounds really loud, so let's check our sound. Let's turn our master volume down. Music up, because I like to jam out. Uh, we'll turn ambient environment down. Player down a little bit. Keep this up so we can hear. Weather will keep on just a little bit. Blocks. That looks good. If uh, you guys have any suggestions for uh, the sound or anything, that uh, needs to be edited and let me know and I will make the corrections in the next video or as soon as I get some suggestions. Uh, I'm not sure what eat where each of these go out to so I may have to contact Matt and see about uh, building out in each direction. This very closely resembles the Minecraft. I really like this actually. They, whoever built this did a very good job with it. Some here. Ooh, got some TNT. That's awesome. I took a while to get that. Ten stacks of gunpowder. Thanks for what it takes to make that. Huh. Ooh. That's awesome down there. Whoever did this did a really good job. I like this. It's out this way. Oh, wow. There's a whole nother... Oh, I get scared walking over there. I think I'm going to fall into lava. This is awesome, man. I love this. What's over here? Hitman... Alright, so there's a hitman gonna be here. See, he's gonna kill people. I guess. Um, use Otman's tunnel. Let's go up and check this out. I've seen this in a couple of his videos, but... Uh, let's see what's up here so any of my viewers can see it. This, I like the tunnel. It's awesome. It took a long time to gather those resources. I am sure of it. Oh, I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna have to make some bread with this wheat. Let's see over here. Looks like this tunnel's already been claimed. Doesn't look like this one's been claimed yet, or this one for that matter, but I'll have one, or that one. Or that one, like I said, I'll have to talk to these guys and 
see what's going on. Since this leads up, I imagine that these are going to lead out to other areas like that, and then we'll be able to branch off from there. So, that's cool. Alright, let's go back into the overworld and start up. Like it's getting nighttime. Is there a bed around here that I could sleep in to skip? Yeah, yeah, there is. Alright. Sleeping and going today. And it looks like I just earned an achievement, too. Which direction should we actually. Uh, let's go over here because I want to get a dark oak sapling. I want to get some dark oak saplings. I think I'm over here. Still hearing those zombies. I want to get those type of saplings before I go out and start exploring. I'll probably just live probably in the surrounding area over here, or maybe in the plains. I'm not quite sure yet. And we'll come back for those. We don't necessarily need them just yet. Somebody's got a house over here. Maybe we'll live out over here. Maybe we'll become neighbors. For now. Looks like it's made entirely of quartz. It's an expensive building material, but hey, you got enough resources to do it. Why not? Hmm. What you got? Nothing. Ooh, ooh, that's a nice pick. Some glowstone. Sorry if I'm snooping through your stuff. I'm not, not quite sure. I'm, you don't have to worry about me taking anything, guys. I'm, I'm a good little boy. Uh, some empty furnaces. Got a little upstairs. Got an ender chest and a bed. I like it. It's nice and quaint. Nice little starter house. Right by a lake, too. You got lakefront property. Lucky. Hmm. So. What do you... What do you guys want to see out of this series? I know I was talking to Matt, and he said that the server is going to be reset on the 1st of January, so New Year's Day. And uh, I don't know, I'm thinking that I just want to gather a small fan base while I'm playing on here, and maybe uh, do some maybe ultra hardcore single player on the side. Maybe do some, I want to. I'd like to do some co-ops with some people on this server, you know, meet them, talk to them, do some co-ops with them and everything. I want to get some of these melons and everything. Hopefully this, whoever lives here doesn't mind that I take some stuff. Uh, let's go see who lives here, actually. But, uh, yeah, I'd love to do some collabs with people. I would love to, you know, possibly do a, um, uh, ultra hardcore, uh, let's play, maybe... I'm definitely going to get into streaming as well, so probably going to be streaming a lot of Ultra Hardcore and just maybe something streaming this. I'm not sure how the Twitch integration works as far as with this. Um, I'm guessing I could probably stream on here since they have it upgraded. I'm just not really sure how to do it, um, but I'll get that figured out and... Uh, you guys can come watch me stream and play some Minecraft. Or play some on Minecraft on the Crow Magnet server. And get some collabs done. We've got a pop up over here. Get rid of that. Uh, just harvest this guy's farm. I'm sure he has plenty of carrots, so he doesn't mind sharing a stack or so. Uh, I never gave credit to him whose farm this was. I gotta go check out the house. Let's see who this is. This is going to be a real, real help, because it's always a pain getting food at the beginning of the game. So, thank you in advance to who has ever found this for us. I highly appreciate it. And I must say, you did a, I really like the design of the farm. It's not just, you know, the standard 9x9 nine nine with a water block in the middle. You have nice little walkways in between, and everything else so it's really really nice I'm thinking about making these episodes around I'm gonna say 20 minutes long at first and then we will uh, get to you know making longer ones probably 30 minutes to 40 minute videos once 
Uh, if you guys want that, you I mean you let me know. If you like the 20 minute videos and in intervals, then I'll do that. But if you like, you know, say 40 minute intervals, then I can do that too. Uh, so, my first viewers, you just uh, let me know and we'll continue from there. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've had a really um, scratchy throat as of late. I think it's just because uh, the winter season coming around here and my throat usually gets kind of scratchy during the winter months. But, nevertheless, we shall continue. I'm going to harvest some pumpkins. I'm going to use this as my main source of lighting off the bat. Ooh, is someone starting on a witch farm over here? That's what it's looking like. If so, this is going to be awesome. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, it might just be a little area. Okay. Nevertheless, let's go see whose house this is. I really like this house. It's a really good design. Iron golems for protection. Gotta move some villagers trading some apples. Nice. Ooh, infinite villager breeder. I, I don't. I'm not sure if that's an infinite villager breeder or not, but it works. I like that. Who's that here? Selling emeralds for glass, nice. Oh yeah, there's a witch out out there. Hopefully that gets made into a farm. Witch farms are really nice. I don't want to build too close to here because a witch farm will be extending pretty far out if they would build one. So let's go out this way. A little ways. And we shall pick a place to build. See, people must have been collecting some sand over here. I'm sure any desert temples or anything would have already been tapped out, so. I never got any dirt or any wood yet. <laughs> That's funny. Just been going around collecting all the farmable stuff in the game, but I don't have any wood. Oh well. I'm sure I'll. I'm sure I'll manage. Somebody left an ender chest out here. Huh. Don't believe in the ender chest guy. Maybe out here on this plane would be a good spot to build right by some forest. We got all kinds of pigs. We got pigs. We got chickens. Let's see. I'll probably I'll go f get a uh, horse and a donkey from the from the shop at spawn eventually. Ooh, is this an extreme hills biome? Hopefully it's an extreme hills biome. Looks like it is. I love building in extreme hills biomes. Actually, this would be perfect. I could make my house in extreme hills. And I could have like a little village layout down in here. That'd be awesome. Ooh. This would be nice. We might have our home over here. Oh, and there's a jungle over here. Jungle hills, extreme hills. That could be good. Somebody killed something on here. Hopefully if I build on here, I'm not encroaching on anybody's territory. But I'm not not seeing any signs of, of building. So we might make our home right on top of this hill. That's like, that sounds like a good plan to me. And we can maybe go down into the jungle, have some green grass, maybe extend out that way some. Let's go up here and take a look at the surrounding terrain. Yeah, the new update, they got snow-covered stuff now. I like this area. I like this area. We can get a little bay down there. We could maybe get, cover this up and put like a little boat dock area down in there. A little island out there. That's nice. Put like a lighthouse there. I'm, I think this is going to be the site of our home, guys. I really I really like the site, and we can maybe even have our own like little tiny village just clear all these trees out and just branch off or maybe even keep the jungle look and just build out like treehouse type deals and just keep like an elevated platform going all throughout the jungle. I like this. I'm probably definitely going to have a bridge from here to that mountain, from here to that mountain. This will definitely keep me busy until the server reset, that's for sure. I like this. I really do. 
So yeah, this is this is definitely gonna be definitely gonna be the site of our house. So we did not collect any wood. So let's go chop down one of these trees and get the starter resources. That that didn't work. Come on, you know how to jump. Come on. There we go. Punching wood, punching wood, punching everybody, sing the getting wood song. I got wood, getting a raging boner, getting wood. Nah. Don't get raging boners while playing Minecraft. People might think that you're a tad bit creepy. And they probably won't let you around their kids anymore. I know I wouldn't. I wouldn't want you around my kid if you got a raging boner from playing a kid's game. Well, not even a kid's game. This, this isn't nowhere near a kid's game. Technically it is, but I don't think, I don't think it should classify as a kid's game. Because this is a very, very complex game. And it's getting dark. So, I say we dig in to the side of a mountain. Maybe... Maybe over here? Go down in here and just dig in. Yeah, perfect. Alright, let's square it off where we want to dig in at. Probably like right here. Just dig in. Alrighty. Let's get all this material made before the creepy creatures of the dark start to spawn. Time to mine. Let me grab this. And let's go. It's probably going to get really dark in here. Sorry if you heard that. That is my phone because I have a timer on it. You know, since it's dark and you guys probably aren't going to be able to see anything once I walk this up, I think we're going to call this our first episode. We got some starting resources thanks to all the kind, generous people of the server. Hopefully they don't mind that I borrowed some of their farmables. Um, and if they do, I'll give them back. I, I hope they don't care. But um, thank you guys for watching the first episode. No luck with that egg. Just want to go find some more chickens over there. Um, Regardless, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please uh, feel free to subscribe and uh, you know leave a like if you want. It, it makes me feel good about myself, and it you know it kind of helps the video get noticed. I think I'm not really sure what they do, but anyways, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.